It's just cancer. What do you mean, it's just cancer? I mean, it's just cancer. A very simple cancer that hasn't spread or metastasized and is eminently operable. I don't mean to sound rude, Doc. Oh, I'm not a doctor. I'm a medical technician. Whatever. What I'm saying is that I don't know what cancer is. Oh, I gotcha. Cancer is kind of, um, slow burn, localized infection, kind of. But we haven't really seen a lot of it since, hmm, 22nd century, according to this. Anyway, it's easy to treat, but you're gonna have to have surgery. What for? I thought you said it's an infection. Can't you just irradiate or drug it? Yes, and we're gonna do both of those. But to be sure we get all of it, and don't have you back here next month, we have to remove some tissue. What kind of tissue? Nothing you need for a date. Don't sweat it. Crap. What a bastard arse of a morning. Mo Ye, how come I have cancer? Hmm. Nothing in your civilian, marine, or ODST record to suggest any particular genetic preponderance, but it happens from time to time. Perhaps you're just a throwback, Baird. It would explain that Crow Magnon brow of yours. <laughs> well, my high school nickname was Captain Caveman, you know. <laughs> Don't worry about the surgery, Baird. It really is trivial. The autosurgeon will be done in less than an hour. But you'll be under for significantly more than that. It's a straightforward, but invasive procedure. I'll be observing and can retain a vid for you if you want to see the procedure after you wake up. No, thanks. I'll be seeing plenty of blood and guts where we're going. Let's hope not. Intelligence is rough, but we're not expecting trouble. Just a lot of rubble. When will I be back on duty? Two days by rule, but you'll be happy in ambulatory in the morning. as you move, but right now, if you don't put on some clothes and do as I say, you will be dead in a couple of minutes. They were waiting for us as we dropped out of slip space. Covenant? Yes. A small group. Not a formation we've encountered before, at least according to my records. One cruiser and four completely new ships escorting it. All dark ray, no surface features or lights, and no weapon systems that I could discern what they did have was a belly full of boarding craft, and our only contact group was not there. So we were boarded? Almost as soon as we dropped out of slip space. Perfect targeting, as if they knew exactly where we were going to exit, inside the range of our weapon systems before I could react. Punctured the hole in 200 different locations, and swarmed us before we could sound a general alarm. It was like exiting in the middle of a meteor storm. What about the crew? What about the men? Dead. All of them? Shh. They're still here, and I suspect they're heading here to Medbay for another look. This is happening too fast. How long was I out? 23 hours, and that's why you're still alive. Why didn't they just destroy the ship? What do they want? Me and Earth. The boarding craft was full of troops, grunts, jackals, and several elites. They had operated like shock troops. The crew never stood a chance. Couldn't even reach a weapon. It had been a slaughter. 
Almost every sidearm and firearm aboard had been secured in one of the ships. Those who had fought back did so with the sidearms of fallen masters at arms, and the weapons dropped by the Covenant boarding party. Few had died well, and those who lingered had been executed. You had been spared by narcotic slumber. The Covenant had gone from deck to deck looking for either movement or simple life signs. Your pulse and vitals had apparently slipped under whatever criteria the Covenant sought. So what the hell are they doing? They're trying to extract me from the ship. And then they're going to try and extract Earth's location from me. By hook or by crook. What about the Coal Protocol? Aren't you supposed to destroy the ship or self-terminate? I can't self-terminate. I already tried. When they boarded, they brought something new with them. Things they call engineers. They're... I'm not sure what they are precisely, but they're semi-organic. The first thing they did was separate me from the core systems. A splinter of my persona is out here with you, but the bulk of my memories and sheer processing power are locked in computing on the bridge. I can't access myself. This fragment of me is just a hunk I chipped off to monitor your surgery, and it was severed along with my access to security, engines, navigation, all the useful stuff. I'm not exactly running at full capacity here. This is a seriously smart group. To be honest, my own maker probably couldn't pull off that trick. Who are these bastards? I have no idea who these bastards are, but they appear to be a Covenant Intelligence and Interdiction group. Discreet Black Ops instead of Brute Force. They may be connected to the discovery of Algolus' prototype armory got us cornered. I can't access the ship's security. I'm almost blind. I can't even display my avatar. I have to assume they're going to realize both of us are here sooner or later. Why not blow the ship? Kick the whole goose. Two reasons. Firstly, in my present state of coherence and security clearance, I'm hamstrung by a default factory safety precaution. Asimov's first law of robotics. I cannot, under any circumstances, harm, or by an action, cause harm to come to a human. When running at full capacity, I can ignore that one at will. I used to ignore it all the time, in fact. Bugger. And secondly? Secondly, the self-destruct permissions and sequences are locked away with the other half of me. I can't access them anyway. Does the Asimov thingy... Rule of robotics? Yes, yes. Does the Asimov thingy only count for humans? Of course. I don't feel terribly responsible for Covenant safety, Baird. So what do you have access to? Some doors. And a lot of meds. <laughs> so we don't know if anyone is out there. Not until we open the door. It would be prudent to assume your awakened state has shown up on their scans. They were scanning for life signs when they swept the ship. And a plan if there's nobody out there? You make your way aft. Get to the engine room and manually instigate an attraction coordinate. We've been through the procedure. You've read it back to me. It will work. You'll escape in a lifeboat. The ship will spin up and jump into the nearest large mass. That should be the Red Giant about 14 million miles starboard. That ought to cook their goose. Aren't there safety procedures and systems to prevent this kind of shit? There were. Lucky for us, the engineers truncated those along with my systems. It should work. But you're not sure? I'm only sure of the seconds leading up to my schism. But I am sure that if we don't try, they are eventually going to crack my encryption and lead the Covenant directly back to Earth. Core protocol be damned. Okay then. Open the bloody door.
up. I'm dead. You are not dead, but you're not in good shape. The blades passed right through you, scorched a lot of stuff. Missed your spine by a distance I can't even make myself repeat. I feel like I'm dying. That's not surprising. You have serious burns and significant injuries, internal and external. I'm going to give you some meds. We're going to try again. It didn't work out so good last time. I'm tired. I want to go to sleep. I know. I'm sorry. The grunts had simply piled up the corpses. Meds? Yes, meds. What are these? A painkiller. A beta-blocking sedative. A metasteroid for the burns and interior inflammation. And a Waverly class augmenter. Uh, what's an augmenter? This one's a cocktail. It contains a derivative of phenocyclohexopiperidine, an artificial slow-release synthetic adrenaline, and a rapid coagulant. Something very similar to those that have been used by rebels in their attempt to fight Spartans on Hellas and Fumarol. You're talking about a rumble drug? There's no pretty way to paint it. The effect on human physiology is impressive in the short term. Unencumbered by the body's normal safety limits, Subjects could be capable of feats of enormous strength, but the subsequent lack of control, mental stability, and the immediate physiological damage meant that users often died long before they ever laid hands on an actual Spartan. But not before doing tremendous damage to themselves and anything that got in their way. The beta blocker will keep you focused and calm. The plan this time? Same as before. <coughs> Oh, yeah? Yes, Dad? Why didn't you try to inject me with the autosurgeon? The syringe at least looked like it would still work. Because, like I told you before, in this condition, I can't do anything to harm a human. I understand. How long do I have? I can't say. With the drugs, maybe an hour or two. Without them, you'd be dead sooner which is the only thing letting me even tell you about the meds. Then there's no time to waste. Dad, once you leave the med bay, you're on your own. I'm trapped here, dumb and useless, till they reconnect my systems, and I don't see any reason why they're going to do that. I wish I could do something more. Then wish me luck with plan B. Plan B. This is how people freeze to death. What exactly are you doing, Ben? What's plan B? Charge into the bridge and ask them to throw down their weapons? 
Fix Moyer with less than an hour to live and only the barest grasp of how an AI even works. Nah. I will make sure that these motherfuckers root the day they boarded the ship and take their precision operation and turn it into an embarrassing and memorable clusterfuck. <laughs> Give you the F coordinates. I can give you the F coordinates. All I ask is that you let me go. Let me take a lifeboat. Let me live. You have to reconnect the ship's AI system. She has the coordinates. She'll obey me, but no you. Good to have you back, if only for a moment. I need you to give them the slip space coordinates for Earth. Moye, these creatures want Earth's location. Are you reconstituted enough to give them access to those, uh, coordinates? Baird, I have access to all the ship systems now. But they are being careful. They think you're trying to trick them. What we talked about in the med bay is still true. I can't override the first law in my current condition. Security clearance, robot. Passcode, Asimov. No. Baird, wait! Well, you stupid asshole. Think you can do it right this time. Passcode accepted. Self-destruct sequence initiated. Four minutes and counting. I'm kidding. There's no need for countdown whatsoever. 